Kubli does a very good job at animation and basically you can animate anything and the way you want it within Kubli. I've created this page here. It can be a page, it can be a post. And I will click here on my plus to bring in a Kubli block. Let's say we go to Kubli and choose icon. And I just click on the icon to make sure that I've got my options here on the right. And you will see here this panel appear every time for animation. Click on that. And with this, you have all the usual suspects fade all the way to rotate. And they're all going to work more or less the same. If I click on rotate, scroll down a little, you can see the direction, repeat. And over here, I like the fact that they've given me the option here in the back end that I can animate it to see how it looks. You don't need to go to the front end to see how that will look. Click on animate and that little jet is falling all the way to earth. So let's make it take off. Let's keep it on here. I'm going to put direction up left. Let's say animate, and there it goes. You have to control over once and loop. I've never used looped in my life, but I guess there are opportunities. Let me see. Just while we're here, like I said. Okay, and that can become super distracting. So let's go back to once and click on animate. And there we go. Duration is how long it takes. Remember, a thousand is one second. I wish, I understand the increments of thousands and two thousands and things like that. But I do think like one second or 1.5 or two seconds is a much easier value to control. Just remember that a thousand is one second. 1,500 is 1 1.5 seconds, one and a half. So let's slow it down. Who's that? Selena Gomez? Who said slow it down? And then over here is the delay. So if you put the delay on zero, the animation is going to appear immediately, but it's slow. And if you increase it, what is this? Three seconds. You're going to wait for three seconds before it starts. And there you go. So this you can do with any block. Let's bring in a section just to show you that for your entire row, you can also do that. I'm going to sections and then click here on import. And then this is a row element. So I go here, row, you can see up here, it says row, it says there row, it indicates you. And if you get lost, you go up here to your little navigation. You can see this is a row with a column and inside a column is a row and a column. And that's the entire layout of this section or rather the row section that you can see over here. Good, so let's just click again on it to get to our options in the sidebar. And again, when you scroll down to the bottom, you will see animation here. And this means that you have the full control. Let's call it a, a zoom. And let's animate that to see. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Not that bad, right? The zoom, I wish we could have put a fade on it as well at the same time to zoom and fade in. So let's say fade up and animate. Yeah, that looks more like a slide to me. Slide and right. Right, so there you go. All the options for the animate. You can animate anything and everything within Kubli. This is JP with Websites for Beginners. See you in our next video on our Kubli add-ons for the WordPress editor. Thank you.